Hold on. They made a regular show video game? I recently went back and watched the entirety of regular show. We're gonna hang out and watch a movie. And man, that show is really, really good. Now, growing up, I'd seen the occasional episode here or there, but I never really planned to watch it. It was just kind of always on. As far as 12 year old me was concerned, it was just a bunch of funny characters running around getting into trouble in what felt like a more mature show. They said piss in the first episode. But he's gonna be pissed! And, you know, as a kid, I was like, holy shit. But going back as an adult, I kind of resonate with Mordecai and Rigby a lot more than I did when I was a kid. They're just regular dudes hanging out like, you know, me and my friends would. And I found myself enjoying the first half of the episodes way more than the crazy endings. I just really love that slice of life feel. I always thought that a remake of Regular Show as a workplace comedy for adults would be fantastic. I know Close Enough exists, but it's just not the same. I mean, the strength of Regular Shows and its characters. And imagining the show with anybody else besides the park crew kind of makes me feel dirty. Like I just cheated on someone. The dynamic the characters have with each other and the progression throughout the series is really fun to watch. Throw in a couple amazing features and a tear jerking finale and you have the recipe for a really special kids show. And at the risk of sounding like a pretentious asshole, it was much, much more than that. It's a beautiful story of friendship. It's a funny, wacky comedy. And most importantly, it's a goddamn DS game. After all, regular show was airing whenever licensed games were really, really popular. Why did they make every cartoon and show into a shitty handheld game? That's easy, because they love the show and they want their fans to be able to experience it in a different medium. No, it's because they like money. And just a side note here, make sure you watch this video to the end because I too also love money. <laughs> Our boys at Wave Forward were in charge of cooking this gem up. Regular show Mordecai and Rigby in 8-Bit Land was born in 2012 for the Nintendo 3DS. Now, it's no secret that licensed handheld games can be kinda stinky, but Wave Forward had already put out some of the best licensed games up to that point. The SpongeBob movie for Game Boy was pretty decent. And from what I hear, the Adventure Time game is supposed to be a pretty serviceable Zelda 2 copy. But oh man, did they shit the bed on this one. On the bright side, the game takes about two hours to 100%, so at least it'll be over quickly. Now on paper, this game should have been pretty good. It aims to combine three different retro gameplay styles into one game. Sounds like a pretty cool and unique idea, right? Absolutely, if it was done right. And guess what? It absolutely fucking isn't. Whose idea was it to make this goddamn game? First up, we have the classic 2D platformer, something that WayForward usually does pretty well in their licensed games. The big catch here is that you can switch between Mordecai and Rigby, and each one of them has their own unique abilities. Mordecai is able to double jump so that you can reach those high out of reach platforms. Rigby can get on all fours and crawl into tough to reach spaces, just like how Victorian children used to sweep chimneys. Back before all this, all this woke culture, ooh, we can't have the kids sweeping chimneys. Ooh, it's dangerous. They can't work 12 hour shifts. We used to be a country. God damn it. Now when I force my kids to do it, they say it's a felony. Overall, the platforming is pretty meh. The level design's okay. About what you'd expect from a game like this and everything controls fine. The big issue here is the hit detection. You might as well just put a blindfold on whenever you're jumping on enemies because it feels like you have to win the lottery just to kill something. If you're off by the smallest amount, off by a pubic hair. The game just kicks you in the nuts and makes you start over. Now at this point I was thinking, oh well, you know, at least the problems aren't too, too bad. I mean, there's no way the next world could be any worse. Right? Right? <laughs> Moving on to the second world, we see the second gameplay style come into play. Mordecai turns himself into a spaceship. It doesn't put you on rails or auto scroll or anything like that. So the player's free to roam around and shoot all the enemies until the level is done, which it was actually pretty cool. Just a couple of problematic things here. The, the ship controls like shit. The enemies are too small. The levels are so goddamn boring and they feel so long. And also, holy shit, this game is only halfway done. On the third world, we're introduced to our third gameplay style and we transition into a top-down twin-stick shooter style gameplay. The transition between the platformer and top-down gameplay is honestly pretty smooth. 
it's a really cool idea and it really makes me so sad that they wasted such a cool unique mechanic on this game. The movement's limited to eight ways even when you're using the circle pad so it just kind of feels a little clunky. The enemies are so boring. Like, they just stand there. It's just not fun. I don't know what else to say. The game's just not fun. The final world is where we see all the game styles so far come together into one. And let me tell you, they mix really, really well, just like ammonia and bleach. It's such a shame because this final world had so much potential. When each play style is connected together with short platforming bits, it actually works pretty well. Dare I say, even enjoyable. But the big thing here is that it's only enjoyable when it's connected with platforming sections. When the game starts relying on you being able to switch between the different gameplay styles with the reaction time of a Greek god, that's when it starts to become a problem. Honestly, I think this could have been one of the most interesting gameplay mechanics that we've ever seen on the DS. If it wasn't designed so horribly. Every world ends with a boss fight, and these are all pretty basic. You dodge and then attack until they're dead which is pretty standard for these kind of titles. We can't really be too upset about that. The bosses are all cameos from the show, which is really nice to see, but I can't help but feel that something is missing. Oh, oh yeah, the whole fucking cast. Look, I get it. Mordecai and Rigby are the main characters, right? But their interactions with the rest of the park employees is what makes the show so great. You have all of these amazing, iconic characters. And you just pretend like they don't exist? Skips? Pops? Muscle Man? High Five Ghost? They're nowhere to be found here. I mean, I'm not asking for all of them to be playable, but at least include them in the story. And as far as the story goes, it's virtually non-existent. JG Quintel, who's the creator of Regular Show, is credited as the writer for the game as well. So you would think it would have a story that did the game justice, right? Not exactly. Like I said, the story's non-existent. There's two cutscenes, and yes, I use that term cutscene very liberally here, at the very beginning and one at the very end, and there's no substance to it. It's basically just, hey, go play these levels, and then the game's over. When you have a show that has this much character and this much soul, you would think they would use those to create an interesting story for the game. But what I think they probably did, they had a 15-minute board meeting, wrote down the most generic way to explain why Mordecai and Rigby are going through the levels, slap it on the game and say, hey, the creator of the show wrote this. You guys will like it. There's so much wasted potential with this game. It could have been really good, but the gameplay is just flat out not fun if the story doesn't even exist. But let me know if any of you guys have this game, if you guys played it and what you guys thought. I'd love to hear about it.